Hello everyone, my name is Loco and it is time to be playing some with the one and only Diablo. Wait, what? I haven't played Diablo in forever. He basically used to be one of the very worst heroes in the game and he still is not amazing, but you do see him every now and then at the competitive scene as well. Uh, there's some cool combinations that you can use with Diablo, but Diablo is a bit of a weird guy. Whenever I do see him walking around though, he, he makes me think he's a dog. Look at, look at him. It just makes me look like he's a cute little puppy. Even though, you know, we do have a bit of a weird skin on him. But anyways, first talent we're going to be picking is going to be the Soul Feast right here. That will give me extra health regeneration. Uh, we should really have someone at the bottom lane, by the way. But anyway. Uh, no, no bot lane, boys. Okay, we should be careful, though. I can't really, can't really just go down like that. Alright, just go away. Just get out, guys. I mean, I could have, we could have probably killed him if I didn't throw him over, to be honest, but I, I wanted to make sure I wasn't blocking myself. Alright, so that was a very exciting day, <laughs> a very exciting day right here on the Blackhearts Bay. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing the hero, I'm going to be talking about different talents, uh, and we're just going to be having a fun game here. I'm not the greatest when it comes to playing, um, you know, this hero in general, he's a bit weird, he's a little bit tough to play. Uh, but his basic abilities, or the basic idea behind this guy is to collect souls. And what are souls, you may be wondering. Souls basically um, give me extra health regeneration because of my first talent. But most importantly, a little bit later on into the game, uh, we will also like survive a lot of attacks because it will respawn immediately. So the idea is that you basically just kill stuff and that you never die. If you die, you're gonna lose the stacks and you know, that's bad. You don't want to do that. So I'm playing like exceptionally cautious when I play Diablo, which doesn't happen too often, but... Alright, yeah, definitely cannot push in right now, which is unfortunate. Gonna be moving in here. We did get the doubloons from Bolt, I think. Oh, actually? Wow, they're still up. Alright, I'm just going over here, though. Make sure we get some extra experience going. Uh, generally speaking about this hero, especially, like, later on into the game, he becomes a lot more tanky. Like, early on, he's kind of weak. Um, but over time, you know, he does become, like, one of the sickest tanks in the game. Uh, but early on, you know, he's very, very flimsy. Feels a lot more like a brawler than a tank. Um, and since I've been playing a lot of Muradin, it's kind of scary. Go away. Alright, we can throw him, like, you know, in range of the towers like that. We'll take it. I should have saved my Q! Oh, come on. No, I won't be able to make that. Gotta watch out here, because I know that, uh, you know, they have a Nova on board. I'll just clean up this wave real quick, and then uh, we'll see if we can still help in the team fight. Oftentimes, early on, if you start running over the team fight, it's done before, uh, before the fight even happens. And the extra experience here is definitely gonna be very, very worth it. But yeah, we'll, we'll make sure to get out. Just eating the experience now. Uh, actually, we can drink from the fountain, I suppose. That'd be fine. Alright. So the Q ability. Q ability basically pushes forward and it pushes an enemy away. Second talent we're going to be picking, by the way, is Fire Devil. Because we're going to be focusing mostly on the W. Um, but the Q ability is pretty straightforward. Basically, what happens, you, you run up to a target. And then, you know, that target gets pushed away. So if you're chasing someone, it's the worst ability in the world. I will display it right here once, and you see what happens. You can use it in combination with your E ability. Um, e ability doesn't do very much against Johanna once she's unstoppable with her, uh, with her trait. Uh, but the E ability basically throws a target over Diablo to the other end. Uh, so, you know, you can easily pick off heroes that way. So usually you will dash in with Q and then use the E ability to throw over uh, enemies. And then the W ability is like an AoE damage dealing sort of thing. So right here, by the way, is the combo. At least I try to do the combo, and you know, you can see what happens, like, the W ability sprouts these flames around me, and it's very nice, it deals a bunch of damage, and, you know, it's powerful. You do have to be a little careful when playing Diablo in the, um, mana department, even though she doesn't really do a lot of damage, um, you know, staying alive does cost me quite a bunch of mana, and I gotta be careful with that. Alright, so we got Brighton incoming right now, this is all good. We just need someone in the mid lane. We're constantly losing experience, but for whatever reason, we're actually ahead. So I do want to try and get back um, into full mana mode before, you know, the new um, the new talent comes up, which is in a couple uh, couple minutes, or probably a minute or so from now. Uh, but I'm going to go back right now, make sure I get my mana, and, you know, then we have the, uh, the shrine as well, good to go, or the fountain, good to go as well. So I haven't really been joining any of the team fights. Like I mentioned, I want to try and stay alive. It's all about these black soul stones right here. Get extra uh, health regeneration, but also extra mana regeneration. It's just super, super good. Alright, coming in. Team is playing pretty well so far. But yeah, usually early on you want to be very careful. I see you. I see you. Yeah, I see you. 
Okay, so I'm throwing her over. Should be able to get a kill. Ugh. Just get healed right there by uh, Uther. Uther's pretty, pretty good at that. Get out of here, guys. Go away. I'm gonna try and push him away so Brightwing can't survive. And Brightwing actually did survive, which is fair enough. Bit of a cheeky smiley. Okay, blocking the damage right now and just body blocking. Obviously, I'm very fat. When playing this hero, you are just fat in general. Um, and next on we're going to be picking is the Soul Steel right here. So basically, we get extra health once again. So we're just building super tanky. We're not building damage. We're not really doing any of that sort of stuff. We're just trying to, you know, make sure that we stay alive. Later on, we'll be much better. Got to watch out, obviously, for the little stun. But you can already see the health regeneration come into play, right? I mean, obviously, um, it's just going to keep going through the entirety of the game. And at some point, like, you're out of combat for a little while. And immediately, you're back at full health. So it's all about the mana management at that point. So we did hit uh, level 7 way before them. Uh, at level 10, we do have the option to go for either of the heroics. It all depends really on what we're lacking. Uh, Apocalypse is very good as well. Yeah. You can obviously use the E and the Q in the different order as well, like in the other order or the other way around. Um, generally speaking, it's not really what you want to do. Uh, but I should probably try and, um, you know, just uh, save the cooldown for a little while longer. Uh, do we have two doubloons? Okay, coming in. Coming in, sir. Come on, Kerrigan. Kerrigan coming in as well. Alright. We did get her. And now the Butcher is actually also completely out of position. Or at the very least, you know, we will... We may not get a kill on him. I mean, it's still the Butcher, right? But, um... At the very least, we will be able to turn in here. Or at least we should. Get him! Oh my god, I don't have enough mana. Oh, there we go. We're definitely out of position here, though. I cannot do very much. Okay. Johanna moving in. And this is good now. We can take this. Ooh, nice. Alright, I'm gonna go back. Good job. Good job. We're gonna get level 10 really soon and we're all oom here, so we definitely should go back. Woo. Looks like they didn't manage to cancel our, uh, our back. <laughs> but this is looking alright. We're doing well. Just trying to stay alive, that's really what it's all about. If you die with this hero, once again, you use most or you lose most of those stacks and those souls, and you know, it just becomes really difficult to build it back up. Later on, we'll be fine. Get out of here, sir. Alright, I can just throw you over then as well. If you really want to. You can do some sick combos as well with these heroes right here, by the way, but yeah, you can already see the health regen, right? It's pretty cool. We're getting there. Next time we're gonna go for, we can really choose either. I'm gonna go with Apocalypse. It's basically an AoE stun. So we do want to force the fight right now if we can. If they move in, we're gonna activate it. Okay, activating my ult. Didn't quite get the damage there that I was looking for. It's a little tricky uh, of an ult to use. You don't really use it in combination with the Q either because it, you know, messes things up. Wow, that was a sick hit. Okay, sweet. Getting the damage done. So, so far we're actually doing well in both hero damage and in siege damage. Even though I wasn't part of the early game fights, we're doing really, really well. Oh, well, I'll just grab these things real quick and then I'll come down. Okay, fine, I'll just come. Oh my god, I should have just finished it off. Yeah, so basically the uh, the R ability that I got, the Apocalypse, it is very nice because it also, like, it, it hits no matter what, you know? You can't really go wrong with it. Anyways, definitely can come back in right now. Once again, don't want to overextend here. I they're completely out of position, actually. Okay. Gotta watch out, we know that there's a cloaked hero here. Very nice. Not quite in the correct place. Oh wow, they actually managed to turn in. Oh wow. <laughs> Accidentally used the wrong button there. No, Johanna doesn't really die. Just, just run. Okay, so we should be able to turn in here in a second. I uh, should probably try and get the bottom lane. Hope someone will be able to come and help out. 
We can take this camp really quickly. We should be good here, though. Obviously, they hit level 10 as well, but we should have our cooldowns all ready to go. They're all very low in mana, though, which is an issue. Okay. Let's uh, get IR person on all of them. Okay, so Brightwing will obviously be able to back. Johanna will go in first. And, well... <laughs> oh god, they did set up the, uh, the block right here. Ooh. He actually went for the divine, uh, divine protection there, interestingly enough. Brightwing, why don't you teleport? Oh, Brightwing didn't. Brightwing doesn't have to teleport. Oh, he doesn't have it until right now. Well, that's the worst. There we go. She's finally moving back in. Tyrande did end up falling there. Oh, Brightwing didn't have to teleport. We all expected to be a 5v5 right here, but we didn't get there. We didn't quite get that. That's the obvious fake, right? Is that not the fake? Wow! I thought it was a fake one. I guess they don't walk in that straight of a line. Alright, if we can, turn in. Obviously, I'm, I'm just gonna push. I'm just gonna push. Fuck this. I'm just trying to be annoying here. Push them away so my allies can turn in. There we go. Boom. <clears throat> Alright, very nice. I'll come in uh, and help out with the top camp right there. Little bit of annoyance. And um, go from there. Yeah, they still need to turn in. We got plenty. Yeah, uh, turn in twice. We should be able to get level 13 here. We are 13. Just go back to pirate. Alright, I'm gonna go back real quick. Uh, next talent we're gonna be picking is gonna be the Fire Stomp. And basically what Fire Stomp does is when you smash on the ground, you slam on the ground, um, the flames return back to you. So you do twice the amount of damage with it usually. Well, unless they can get a free kill, I suppose. I would recommend you go to the bottom lane right now, but... They did get a free kill. Just leave, bro. Okay, just run. Uh-uh-uh. Come here! Wow. I actually missed it. Nice. That was very well done right there. That was very nice. And, well, Jaina, or Nova rather, is in a lot of trouble there as well. So let's just have everyone turn in here. We should be good. Actually, I'll just let my allies once again turn in. Um, we could technically go for the boss as well, but... Yeah, I'll just let them turn in because they got way more. I only have one. That's a waste of time. But yeah, you can see the W right now returns all the flames to me, so it's just twice the amount of damage. It's, it's huge. It's a very nice little pickup, and so far we've been playing this very well, actually. Like, um, I don't want to compliment myself because that sounds like a douchebag, but right? But um, it's uh, it's very useful to not die early game because you just get such an advantage. Push, push. We should probably try and get 13 first, or 16. We should get 16, but whatever. But whatever. <laughs> we do still have the tower shooting away here as well. Whoa! Get him! Get him! Get him! Nice. <laughs> That helps so much. Well, that damage doesn't really do a whole lot anymore. Uh, we're gonna go here with the Rampage once again. So just, you know, upgrade the W as much as possible. And we're 16 right now, which is huge. I think we could just continue fighting, but let's just get it. Let's just get the thingies. So we're once again on all fours, running forward. <laughs> Not allowing ourselves to die, and we're still... We're still topping hero damage, and we're, well, for our team at the very least, we're still topping the damage there as well. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's Johanna for you right there. No real reason to go. Oh, I did use my ult there. I didn't really need to. Come on, get him! I'm not going in, though. Alright, bit of a wasted ult right there. I got a little greedy. We're getting a little greedy here, but I'll just grab some doubloons here. Make sure we go back into it. Uh, he's completely out of position. And we're actually out of position here as well. This is not good. Coming in, coming in. I don't know exactly who's the real one, man. No, I shouldn't be here. Unless my team joins in like this, then it's fine. Ugh. 
Okay, we're waiting here for Brightwing. No, 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 no! Don't die! Don't die! Don't not die! <whistles> Trying to keep everyone alive here! Oh, <laughs> it's so risky! Alright, alright. This is fine. Let's bring from the fountain real quick. <clears throat> nice. Good teamwork so far. We're doing well. Should be able to turn in here once more. Don't know exactly where she's located. But it's fine. Just just push, dude. Just push. Oh, well, Tyrande is not noticing it. Ugh. Oh, ho. Dang it. He's barely missing my ult once more. The Lightning Rat is very tempting to go for as well, but I do really like the uh, the use of the uh, Apocalypse, but I'm not really using it that well here. Yeah, we should not be going for Dark Camps right now. Be very careful. Well, they're gonna grab it, obviously. We just have to watch out, because they're close to le hitting level 16 as well, and at that point uh, we should be, you know, not fighting. We should try and get 20. Else the fights are just gonna be rough for us. Whoa, 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 dude, dude. Oh, man. I, I asked them to return, but sadly it didn't happen. A little unfortunate. <clears throat> <clears throat> wait, uh, just wait for Kerrigan. Oh god, I completely rolled um, <laughs> rolled in the wrong way here. All right, fine. <laughs> I don't know about this, guys. I don't agree. I don't agree with this, but I don't know. I guess if he Uther dies, it's fine, right? I don't agree with this though. This was not a good fight to take for us. I completely ro rolled the wrong way there. Okay, we are silenced here for a couple seconds. Nice wailing arrow. I'm not gonna deny him that. Oh, oh man. Toby is hitting all of those things. Alright, let's grab him. All shall kneel for the Lord of Hell. <laughs> calm, calm down, dude. Alright, gotta go back real quick. <laughs> PRB Mama. Mama is something different. Um, all right, so we're doing we're doing really we're doing really quite alright. For me, not playing this hero in a long time, this is good. No, that's a fake one. That's the real one right there. All right. Asking for assistance now. The nice thing about the apocalypse is that you can like force people out of position. Oh, we already got him. Sadly, I'm being body blocked because I'm so fat. Diablo problems. Should get the bot. Activating the W in the middle of this. You know, we'll take him down very quickly. Actually, they're not completely dead yet. But we should have this just fine. Oh god, Kerrigan, no! Oh man. I tried saving her right there, but... Yeah, she's a little too far forward all the time. A little unfortunate. Just, just stay with group. It's much safer that way. <clears throat> uh, I don't think we should go boss, man. They could do. They could be boss. Nah. Dude, dude, leave, 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 leave. Uh, let them... We need five. Okay, so they didn't manage to turn in right there. Unfortunate. But we're close to ten. Hit, or hit twenty. Then fight. <clears throat> dude, dude, they're not boss. We shouldn't go boss, I don't think. Well, we can try and force a fight, I suppose, but... I don't think we should be here, boys. 
think this is a bad idea. They're not boss. Obviously, they're not boss. Alright. Let me just mount up then. Oh, this is good. Sorry about that. Alright, now we can easily go boss. We're gonna go for the Lord of Terror here. Basically, it's an activated ability that, like, steals life. Very nice, obviously. Okay. I'm gonna go boss. Boss first, then Brewster. So they line up. Alright, I wanted them to run in my ult, yeah. You're doing uh, really well actually in this game, Toby. If you're ever listening to this. These uh, these hits right here on your uh, on your arrow are, are looking extremely good. It does help out a lot, like hitting them. And like anticipating where your enemy is gonna go and stuff. That's what I'm really, really bad at when it comes to playing this game <laughs> heroes. Diablo is pretty straightforward to play though, you don't uh, you don't have to know too much. Alright. All top. Uther is a little out of position here. I can easily take him out. I can easily, easily take him out by myself. Well, not anymore. Okay, activating my ult. Just forces people out of position, really. We could have lined up these camps a little nicer, but this will work. Uh, we do need the life steal. But at this point, Diablo is nearly unstoppable. Alright, activating the life steal. A lot of heroes nearby. And you know, 10% life doesn't sound like a lot, but it does add up very quickly. So we do grab that hero right there. Sylvana's going down. Alright, and we're just gonna start hitting core here. We should be easily finishing this one off right now. Very nice little game. Diablo, powerful hero if played safely early on. And later into the game, you can easily start rolling away uh, with the team and, um, you know, get a massive advantage. So, we just barely got overtaken right there by Toba1 right there at the very end in hero damage. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit the follow button down below. It's a sub button. You'll get a notification when I upload another video. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.